In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an animation delay to your Figma prototype. Let's get started. So to begin, I'm opening up a Figma project that I'm currently working on. I'm currently working on this job finder application and it currently has two screens. The first screen on the left shows the user all the jobs that are available and also has a search feature. And on the right, I have a tab filled with all the jobs that this user applied for. Now I already added some interactivity to this prototype. So if you click on this play button on the top, it will open up the prototype in a new tab. And I already added some functionality. So when the user clicks on the applied, the whole page transitions to the applied tab. And when I go back to all jobs, it switches back to the previous tab. So if you're interested in watching the video where I show you how to actually animate this design using Smart Animate, I'll link that tutorial in the description below. But in this tutorial, I want to improve on the functionality of the prototype. So I created this notification overlay that I want to add to my design. So if we zoom into it a little bit more, we can see that it is a rectangle overlay and I want this overlay to appear at the bottom of the actual page. Now, I want this overlay to appear automatically without the user having to tap on anything to make this visible. So I'm going to add a delay to the animation so that way it will automatically appear in the prototype. So first I'm actually going to tap on this frame because I want it to be visible when the user is on the landing state. So with this frame selected, I'm going to go over here to the prototype tab on the top right. And once I do, the inspector panel on the side has changed. And now I can actually add an interaction to the prototype. So up here next to interactions, there's a plus symbol. So I'm going to click on that. And then initially Figma assumes that I want to add a tap interaction, but I don't actually want to add a tap interaction. So I'm going to customize this by actually tapping inside of it. And once I do this overlay appears, which will allow me to specify exactly what kind of interaction I want for this element. So instead of saying on tap, I'm going to click on this element and at the very bottom, it says after delay meaning that once the user gets to this page, after a certain second delay, I can control what will happen next. So that's the kind of interaction I want for this element. So I'm going to click on it. And once I do, it automatically sets the value to 800 milliseconds, which we can always modify later on. Next, what do we want to happen after the delay? Well, I want this overlay to become visible on the page. So instead of saying none, I'm going to open that and I'm going to say open overlay. And then we have to specify which overlay we want to be visible. Well, I want the notification overlay to be the element on the page. So I'm going to click on that. Once I do that, some other overlay features become visible. So we can specify where exactly the overlay lives on the page and the kind of animation effect that it has. Right now, if I were to just click this play button, the app will refresh and then we will see the effect. So right now the overlay appears on the page. However, the placement is not correct and it doesn't have any kind of transition. So I'm going to go back to my Figma design and specify some of its features. So instead of the overlay being centered, I'm going to tap on this and I'm going to set it to bottom center. I'm going to allow the user to close it when they click outside. And I'm also going to add a background behind the overlay, which will dim the background. So that way the overlay stands out even more. And you can also specify this as well. I'm going to leave it as 25% black for the time being. Then I'm also going to add some animation. So I don't want it to just instantly appear. I want it to transition on the page. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to say move in. And then you can specify exactly how you want it to move in on the page. Now, since this element is living on the bottom of the page, I want it to pop up. So I'm going to have it move upwards and you can specify what kind of animation curve that you would like. I'll leave it as ease out and the duration. So now if I go back to my prototype, we can actually see that effect, but I think it pops up a little too quickly. 
So instead, I'm going to control when it is visible on the page. So I'm going to say after delay, instead of being 800 milliseconds, I'm going to set it to 2000, which is 2000 milliseconds, which equals two seconds. And instead of it animating in 300 milliseconds, I'm going to increase it to 350. So now if we go back to our prototype, we can see this element animate in. And of course you can always add interactivity for these buttons at the bottom. But right now, if I were to click on this darker overlay section, it will dismiss. So there you go. That's how I created this animation delay using Figma. Please let me know if you have any questions on the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.